I'm Howl, a cool coyote. Out here in the desert, I'm a pretty important guy. I'm one of the toughest predators in the United States. And, not to brag, but I'm really smart. Plus, I can hear, smell, and see super well. That helps me know when there's food around. To catch that food, you bet I can run fast, about 40 miles an hour. That's speedier than a car driving around your neighborhood. God even gave me strong legs for jumping. Usually I hang out by myself, but sometimes I team up with other coyotes to hunt. We're pretty tough when we're all together. As more and more people build houses, a lot of animals haven't found places to live, and there are less of those animals now. But us coyotes? Some people think there are more of us than ever. Ow! That's because we easily adapt to any area. We'll eat people's trash if we live near houses. We used to just live in prairies and deserts, but we've learned how to live in forests, mountains, even cities. I may be the biggest, toughest creature in the desert, but even I know there's someone greater. You see, there's one thing we're not in charge of. When coyote moms have babies, they have litters of anywhere from 3 to 12 pups. They can't control how many babies are in their litter. You know who does control that? God. When there are already a lot of coyotes in an area, we usually have smaller litters. But when our population needs to grow, God gives us lots of pups. How? In the Bible, the book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 5, tells us how great is our Lord. His power is absolute. God is in control of coyote litters, and he's also in charge of your life. When things seem out of control, God's got it. When you need help, God can help you. And when you're worried something really bad could happen, God can raise people up to stop it. Yep, I'm a tough coyote. And other animals in the desert might say I'm in charge. Ow! But even I know there's someone greater. God is in charge.